Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. May I take the earliest opportunity to congratulate you and Mr. Speaker on your deserved election as our Speaker and Deputy Speaker, respectively. I, in particular, celebrate you, Madam Speaker, on behalf of my class uh, that you had the honor to teach civil procedure during my second coming to the University of Nairobi. My name is Steve Mogaka. I am an accountant, a banker, and an advocate of the High Court of Kenya. And those are the skills, Madam Speaker, the people of West Mugrango so fit to present to this house for use as part of the solution provision for the people of Kenya. And for that reason, I have the humble opportunity of thanking the people of West Mugrango for coming out in large numbers and voting me in overwhelmingly, and I promise I will not let them down. I am, in fact, a miracle MP because from the ward I hail from in West Mugrango, there has never been an MP except for nine months only when the late Justa, Joe Justice Morara served and died in a road accident. And before that, my other ward, uh, ward member, uh, Tom, Honorable Thomas Mongare, had also um, uh, died within one year of election. And may God rest their uh, uh, spirits in eternal peace. Madam Speaker, as we support this motion of adjournment, the people of West Mugrango are mourning because they woke up to a brutal murder of a lady school principal of Rangenyo Secondary School. I am hoping that when Mr. Mutiambai and Do George Kinoti resigned or tendered their resignation, this is not what we are going to be treated to in the Republic of Kenya. Through this house, Madam Speaker, I am pleading to the investigating agencies to get down to the bottom of what killed Madam Lydia, who killed it, and let them be brought to Pook as soon as practicable. Talking of uh, the droughts ravaging this country, Madam Speaker, indeed, this has been a cyclical vicious circle uh, in the Republic of Kenya every other season. I sympathize with uh, our compatriots in the Asal areas and request that this country gets a permanent solution to the drought uh, problems in this republic. But as we speak of drought, the area I represent, West Mugrango, Madam Speaker, is within the convectional rain region of Lake Victoria. And as the, birds, the sun burns the rest of Kenya, the convectional currents go uh, amok, and the Goosey region is only ravaged every other day with hailstones and hailstorms which destroy crop, which destroy food, and never in this republic have I had uh, talk of possible compensation for victims of uh, uh, hailstones and hailstorms. My areas of Enchoro, Samaro, and parts of uh, Bunyamatuta Ward, uh, the last two weeks suffered serious hailstorms. And coming with those hailstorms is at your hunger because the food crops go, the cash crop being tea, uh, being coffee, being pirate rum, they also go. And I will be proposing an amendment to the Disaster Act of this country that when we talk of uh, a drought, the flip side of it is always uh, hailstones and heavy rains which wash, wash away soils and create floods uh, to our neighbors in the Nyando region. Madam Speaker, as we uh, join this 13th Parliament, and I celebrate uh, the speech by the, His Excellency President William Ruto, particularly when he admitted that this country is broke. Broke, yes, it is. But as a result of this brokenness, we have 
member for Kajiado East.